Hey space fans, do you want to go to Mars? I know that I do. My daughter wants to be president of Mars. And with us today actually is Leonard David at MarsBoy on Twitter, uh, author of Mars, Our Future on the Red Planet, companion book to the, the National Geographic Channel's Mars uh, miniseries. Leonard, hey, thanks for being with us today. Great, great to be here as always. Good well, to see you. Well, nice to see you too. You know, we, Leonard goes way back with space.com, as you guys might know, very veteran uh, space reporter. That means I'm old. No, I means you're experienced, <laughs> okay. right? All right. Uh, so, so, so tell us, Leonard, about uh, Mars, our future on uh, the red planet, uh, the book itself. Uh, folks can, can go get it at their bookstore. What are they going to find inside? I think what I tried to do in the, in the uh, book and, and also the articles I write for space.com kind of give you the impression of it's dangerous. It's just going to be hard to do. To go to uh, Mars. To go to Mars and, and not only uh, survive Mars, but thrive. And the thrive part is that's where some hard discussion and technological development's got to happen. So we're, I'm pretty excited about the book in the sense of uh, looking at life science issues, psychological issues, philosophical issues. There's even some uh, hints of ethics issues in the book. Uh, I think we have some very philosophical discussions coming about Mars exploration. So that's what I try to get across in the book. Now the book came uh, it's a companion to the, the National Geographic Channel's miniseries. Right. Uh, you know, tell us about how that partnership came about. Um, what folks could expect to see in the miniseries too? Well, we try to align some of the book to be uh, paralleling the, the, the TV series. In, in the book, you'll see uh, six chapters. Isn't it interesting that there's six part miniseries? So um, we try to align up also interviews with some of the key people that are actually working on Mars. Even though the miniseries is a docudrama, uh, that gives you a, a, a glimpse at how a future mission to Mars can happen, what, what happens to the crew, and by the way, don't tell anybody if there's some surprise ending there. Um, that's, that's very tantalizing. <laughs> it's meant to be. Uh, and in the book, we, I interviewed quite a few people that are in the movie. Uh, and so it was a joint effort by everybody. A lot of people worked on it. Uh, we were very pleased at the final product, and, and I think, as National Geographic does, there's a lot of pictures in, in the book that we picked, selected, went through a lot of different imagery to try to get some new ones that nobody's ever seen before, context of Mars, you know, just the desert scenes and how beautiful the place is, even though it's dangerous. So tell me, would you want to go to Mars, uh, set up shop, be a homesteader? On the Red Planet? I would be there later on. I'll let you go first. <laughs> <laughs> you can phone back home. Are, yeah. we, are we closer, though, than ever? I mean, it seems yeah. just in the last few years we have Elon yeah. Musk and SpaceX, NASA yeah. and Journey to Mars, uh, Lockheed Martin and Base Camp. Yeah. Uh, seems like there's a lot of, there's more of an impetus now, it feels like, yeah. than maybe ever before. Well, I think in the book you'll get a sense of the political and willpower problem. I, I think there's people ready to, to do this kind of mission and technologically we can leapfrog off of 50, 60 years of capability. But uh, it's gonna be the administration change, it's gonna be the public interest, it's gonna be, um, I, I see it a global interest in Mars. I mean, that's definitely, there's in orbit around Mars right now, you've got India, you've got Europe, uh, you have several NASA orbiters, so, and then we have two rovers running around. Here's the Curiosity rover. Right here, right here. And here's yeah. opportunity. opportunity. Yes. That's two for two. That's pretty good. Uh, they're, you know, these are sort of our uh, slow mo friends that are helping us understand Mars a lot better. But my guess is if you and I were standing on Mars next to these things, we'd see something and go, <laughs> oh, that's not supposed to happen. So. Well, oh, it's very exciting. Actually, I think we have a copy of your book right here. I'd love okay. to show everybody. So it's Mars, Our Future on the, the Red Planet uh, from uh, National Geographic by Leonard David, Mars Maven himself. Okay. So Leonard, uh, thank, thanks so much for having and the time. It's well talk paginated too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, you know, you can find it in your bookstore, or Amazon, wherever you buy books, you can find this one. And uh, uh, you know, thank you so much for having time thank, to talk about Mars. Thank you for having me. Space.com.